Welcome back to our introduction of the VC500, the new operator controls for EnviroSight's Rover X Sewer Inspection Crawler. I'm Scott, and in this fourth episode, we'll look at how to create an inspection. The first step is to create a project. Think of a project as a bucket that holds a collection of related inspections. To create one, tap the menu button in the navigation bar, and then select Create Project. In the creation dialog, you can name the project and choose between a standard project or a simple project. Fields that are required will be in bold. The simple project is merely a container to store inspection videos and photos. You cannot add pipe sections or observations to a simple project. And you cannot create an inspection report from it or upload it to WinCan Web. This option is best for informal investigations where you just need a visual record. A standard project, by contrast, is designed to hold complete inspections. When you create one, you are prompted to select a defect catalog for observations, for instance, PACP7. Once the standard project is created, you're taken to the Project Overview page. Here, tap the plus sign to create a section or lateral inspection. Fill in the required fields on both the Structured Data and Inspection Data tabs. You'll also want to enter a pipe segment reference to identify the inspection within the project. Tap the check mark to create the section, then highlight the inspection in the project overview and select Enter Inspection at the bottom left. You'll be returned to the home screen where you can begin recording video and images and making observations using three buttons at the top left. When creating an observation, you can select classifications using drop downs or tap the quick input button, which is second from the top left, to enter the code directly. Next, you can tap the check mark next to the Create the Observation or the button above it to create the observation and simultaneously append a photo. When creating an observation, you can select classifications using drop downs or tap the quick input button, which is second from the top left, to enter the code directly. Next, you can tap the check mark to create the observation or the button above it to create the observation and simultaneously append a photo. When you're ready to close the inspection, tap the menu button in the navigation bar to access the inspection menu and then tap close inspection. While the project is still open, you can review video and images, open other inspections and preview reports using the buttons in the inspection menu. To close a project, simply select close project from the inspection menu. The interface header will always display which project is active, which inspection is active, which defect catalog is being used, and whether video is being recorded. If you have any doubts, simply check there. To see how to share your inspections online, watch episode six. In the meantime, stay tuned for episode five, where we show you all the options for setting up your video overlay.